Good evening. Our latest will be about Dr. Petrus Motsepe. Earlier this morning, he was addressing journalists at uh, SANEF and his speech there did not really impress many people. Let's follow up on that. People on Twitter said he is not making any sense every time he speaks in the public and it seems like this is happening with all of his public speeches. This user said, imagine Petrus Motsepe as the president of SA. Beside the money in his bank account, what can he offer? When he speaks, he doesn't even make sense. There are also allegations that he's going to be the next uh, SA president and now people are wondering how it will be like if his speeches are all over the place. Please listen to him in the next slide and let us know of your take regarding this. And that will be all from me. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. But we grew up in Pretoria. And, and then, of course, when I was five years old, I went to the, to the Eastern Cape to a, a mission school. And, and we played a lot of rugby there, but football is, is in my DNA. I mean, uh, I grew up uh, supporting clubs, which I'd rather not mention, because my Melody Sundowns was not around at that time. So, so the key issue for us is, uh, you know, when I got my doctorate at Wits, uh, my... Uh, uh, you know, my wife is a proper doctor. She worked for it, and I'm the other one. You know? I don't know, maybe they needed to give some uh, uh, recognition. Or, but anyway, I didn't have to study for it. She studied for it. I, I uh, uh, studied as a lawyer. And, and when I gave that message at Wits University, it reminded me of a few days ago when I was in Kigali. I've spoken about how optimistic and aspirational a uh, people we are. I was in Kigali, uh, last week I was in uh, the Eastern Cape. A few days ago I was in Kigali. In fact, I came back from Kigali yesterday. A uh, meeting of the Commonwealth Heads of State, and uh, there was a discussion of the, the sad, sad, painful history of this great, great country where almost more than a million of our people lost their lives in, in, in issues of, of uh, ethnicity. Uh, nothing to do with black and white, but a lot to do with uh, how we need to, how our future and the future of our children and the future of our country is so much better enhanced by the diversity of culture, of languages, of races, and, and, uh, and why we have to build on that.